On your break today, your local cable guy is in studio with us. Monroe is subbing in, and a mailbag reading has us questioning the level of micromanaging we can put up with. All right, time to clock out for lunch. Welcome to Dunn Paid Lunch, and thanks for spending your break with us. I'm Heavy D. With me, as always, is Andy P. Filling in for Rhino's legendary Monroe. He's here in studio all the time anyway, so I'm just put him on a mic. Uh, and in, in studio today, also, uh, your resident cable guy, Trav. Hi. Hi. So, uh, Morning. Hey. How are you? Hello. How many times have you seen the cable guy? Uh, at least six. You talking about Larry or Jim Carrey? How <laughs> 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 many times have you seen live Larry the cable guy? <laughs> If you're yeah. answering, I'm, I guess you I'm forgot more, about him too, didn't you? You forgot that like, the cable guy was the person. <laughs> I, did. I totally forgot. I actually am more confused. Uh, I got more curious about why that was your answer. Like, which which one have you seen six times? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Larry the cable guy. Every, come, every yeah, time he every comes time to town, he likes it, I, I spread oh, him out. I can crave those yeah, jokes. You know, I like to drive by and just give me the old get her done. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. That's the worst. <laughs> oh, and that was a big thing, and everybody was just doing that all the time. It was yeah. on oh, everything, every hat, shirt. shirts. Yeah, it was yeah. miserable. Because people were like, oh, yeah. Like, even people I would talk to online, you know, play video games, would be like, oh, you're from Kentucky. Like, get her <laughs> <laughs> No, Nobody he's, talking, talks about, like he's yeah. talking about Mississippi. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no one talks like that, actually. Nobody sounds that way, yeah. really. He doesn't even sound that he way, right? A, no, no, he's, yeah, he's, he's an actor. That's a gimmick. Yeah. yeah, that's a bit. He's on yeah. a bit yeah. all the time. It's like, uncle like Jeff Foxworthy. Like he's like, oh, I'm redneck. Like, no, you're not. No. He's like, like two hundred million dollars. Like, you're not losing a townhouse. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. not even smarter yeah. than you don't a fifth know what a single white is. Have you ever been to a celebrity's house working on the table? Yeah, Johnny Depp's mom actually. Shut the fuck oh, up, yeah. Yeah. Johnny Depp's mom. She lives in on Versailles Road, right past Kingland. I don't think you can tell people that. Well, it's a wide range. Like, that's a long road. Turns just out. Just his mom. <laughs> well, you drive it's past people and start not him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's not him. Well, so it kind of creeped me out because I went there to actually, like, work on their cable. And it was like, there's just all these pictures of him everywhere. Like, this, is like, <laughs> this person's like, a giant. Like, this is when we die. Like, this is like, I'm going to end up on the news. Like, this, I'm, yeah, this is going to be great. Like, I can't wait to have a Netflix documentary made about me. Like, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the only one. I uh, met William Shatner. Uh, he lives in Winchester, so he has a house there. Met him once. That makes That's sense. Cool. Yeah, that was big horse guy, right? Yeah, yeah, so big horse guy. Like, like, <laughs> not a minute. Yeah, can't even see his yeah, no, <laughs> no, normal person likes horses. <laughs> normal human. He's actually. not a really large horse man. He's a normal human that yeah, yeah, likes horses. Yeah, yeah. Steve yeah. Zahn lives in Lake Central. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's there. Uh, Saving Silver. There's That's another shit. guy too that's there. The guy that played uh, Shooter McGavin. Oh yeah. He has. Uh, his name? He has a house up. Doesn't matter. His name Shooter. Harrodsburg, I think. I, don't I think know. he has a place up there. Yeah. Met a couple of them. Shooter McGavin. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I feel like that'd be really interesting. Like, I feel like you're worried for your life when you go in people's houses. Yeah. And, I mean. Yes and no. It's depends on what. Part of town. Excuse me, please don't talk to me. Yeah, yeah. It's it's some of it is weird. You can choose levels of like people that talk too much and people that don't talk enough. Some people will like breathe over your shoulder, like, and will like watch you. Like, what are you doing? Like, man, do you understand how this works? <laughs> no. Did like, you? Okay, well then it doesn't. Like, <laughs> I love that shit. And you tell them like technically what you're doing, right, and they're like, yeah. huh? Like, because this, you know, the meters we carry are these like giant blocks that tell yeah. me everything I need to know. And it's like, what does that mean? Like, man, I I can't tell you. Like, explain I, to you. It's I, a fucking I, yeah, code. I can explain this in ten minutes to you, so I don't know. Show you. <laughs> it's like a breakdown. Let's go sit on your couch. I'll tell right. you about how this yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. You trying to work for the company or what? Oh, we've got people that will do that too. Like, oh, you want to know? Like, come on, yeah. I'll, I'll talk you through everything. And I think that's almost better because they immediately go like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me teach you how to do this. Come out of the truck. Let me yeah, show you some yeah. shit in the truck. I'll show you all kinds of cool stuff. Monroe scared <laughs> the shit out of everybody. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to edit that out or not. I don't think I will. It is what it is. Because I have to edit all this and I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> so, yeah, that um, I always think how awkward it would be to go in people's houses and be like, I may know how awkward it is 
when like a cable guy comes to our house. I don't know why it's weird. I'm just like Man, honestly, after like three months in, you just you, stop caring. You're fucking you over just, that. Like, yeah. Basically, kick the door off. He's yeah. like, "Where's your stuff at?" Like, yeah. to be like, "Oh yeah, your kid's like puking in the floor." Like, "Yeah, hey, it's cool." <laughs> and they're all walk by. It's no big deal. The best well, calls are when you don't. Everything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. I mean, no one. You just don't care because you. You at some point, like a year or two in, you've seen. And the best calls are the ones you don't have to go in the house at all. No, that's never a thing. Yeah, you do. You always have to walk in. Yeah, yeah. So there's never a time. Uh-huh. The worst calls really are the ones that are like, and honestly, everybody relate to just the gamers. And it's like, oh, the, yeah. like I'm paying for 300 meg. Like, oh, okay, well, what's your speed set? I'm at 290. Like, yeah, that's pretty close, bro. What? You're good. Lean a little more to the left. Wait, when's it drop down? Like, oh, Saturday night to like 8:30. Like, yeah, you'll, everybody in the country you'll sometimes you get that. Yeah, that'll happen. There's nothing we can do. Those are the those are the hard ones. Yeah, I complain, but mine's like I get four meg when I'm supposed to get two hundred. Yeah, that, see, that's a little different. Yeah, that's, that's when that's a different. That's when I'm complaining. Yeah, that's a little different. We can, which okay, is yeah, right, yeah, that's when it's warm out. We talked about that. When it's warm out, it gets really bad here. Yeah, yeah. cable looks pretty rough out there. Which at least it's cool now that you don't necessarily go in people's house anymore. No, I, can, into, I stopped that seven years ago. Yeah, because you're an asshole going to people's houses. Yeah, it was it's like. Bad. I, feels like, imagine, like I, I go around people's properties, never in their actual houses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's not it's bad. I mean, terrifying. listen, you stop. Like, it's the gross houses are the worst ones. Like, yeah, people, people who have no shame at all, right? And they're right. just. Yeah. It, and that was always the big thing. Like, even with that job, was like, you know, you get like time frames. Like, you'll be, I'll be here between 11 and 12. Yeah. And so you would go there. And it could be like a trailer in the middle of nowhere that, you know, is worth. It's 500 bucks that you know, you're like, yeah, cool, whatever. I get your internet running, no big deal. But then you end up in like your next one is like this $10 million mansion where, like, I'm afraid to, like, <laughs> like I don't want to touch anything. So I was just in this dude's house who had cat shit everywhere, and now it's cat shit on my boots. And right. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to walk in your mansion. Like, I'm afraid to touch your vase in there. Like, if I knock this over, it's like probably worth more than what I make in 10 years. Yeah. yeah no, rich, I don't, I don't want to be in here. Rich people and poor people. Right. Most. Yeah. I mean, it's mm-hmm. crap still got to go to their house and fix it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was like the wildest stuff to like walk into. Something. You meet people from all walks of life too. Like, yeah, for sure. Just watching you, the watchers, right? Yeah, <laughs> watching the, you work. Yeah, the best ones were like the people that walk in and just point and be like, uh, "This one's broke, and everything's outside. Just come yeah. find me when you're ready." Like, oh, thank God! Like I can fly through this, be done in two minutes, and that's the end of it. I know you've been through your share of like outages and shit, where it's everything's balls to the wall and like all hands on deck and yeah. like fucking everybody climbing poles everywhere they go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those were, uh, those were the maintenance days and those were pretty rough. I mean, even like that's, that's kind of what pushed me out of getting out of the field was going to that department. I'm not afraid of heights, but I don't dig a bucket truck. It's not bad. You're like probably 30 to 40 foot, give or take, depending on what's under you, really. Like, what's your bucket is over? There's some spots, man, that's like by the first <laughs> Andrew's shaking his head. Uh-uh. You get, like, uh, you do, like, the spillway up by 75 on the north side of town. Oh, and you, if you fall, yeah, it's, yeah, so it's you're no like longer 30 feet. So you're, like, 200 foot down that you're over, like, working on the lines on the hillside, which Cute. is fine. But when you're looking down, you're like, oh, that's I hope that's this holds. Far. Yeah, like, this, like, tips over. Like, I'm done for. So it's not bad. Gravity's scary as shit. I mean, the oh, worst yeah. is like dropping something out of the bucket and being like that. I, man, like, <laughs> I'm not going back. I'm going to go all the way down, way down to go down. pick that up. And it's yeah. always like your screwdriver, like the nut driver that you need to open or close. Up. Tie strings to everything. Get, yeah. It's like, can it's, I figure out? Probably never happens on a good day either. No, no. It's always in the pouring rain when you're trying to hurry. <laughs> it's like 10 degrees yeah. outside. You've had the worst the day. Yeah. Realize you just, left something down in the 20 minutes just, past when you were yeah. supposed to leave work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those were... There was not really a set time we ever got to leave. Right, sure. I mean, because, you know. Yeah, it was more or less like a, you kind of hung it. You could. If the outage gets fixed, it you was can one go of those, home. like, you can leave at five, but it was a frowned upon. Yeah. Unspoken, like, mm, don't do that. The shit's not working. Right, yeah. Don't and you're going to leave yeah. anyway. You're going to, like, kick it to a, another dude, and he's going to be annoyed. Like, yeah. don't do that. That's a bad idea. Larry, to the job gets done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it feels like, like, your slack is obvious. Like, if somebody else, like, Slacks off like my job. Uh, my job is like if somebody's slacking off, you don't necessarily know who it is. Yeah. But like your job slacking off, you like you can track that down. Oh yeah, there's like, like there's like a list of who these jobs have yeah. been like assigned. To no, who was to. not doing yeah. this yeah. at this we, place? You place. know immediately, like oh man, like that's gonna be a bad time. Like you, you can't uh, you can't get rid of that either because you were in my basement earlier looking at 
the fucking the the cables and oh, stuff, yeah, and can't. the way they wired stuff up, and you're like, this is just. Yeah. If you'd had anything on you, you'd have just changed it. Yeah. <laughs> I used to pack like my tool bag with me, and I would do. You've you've came to my house before when I lived when I lived with, uh, in Cram Creek. You came to my house and like fixed. Our box. That's not surprising. Our cable box one time. Because yeah. you came to the house and you're like, no, it's the same one we use. Let me show you. You can do this. And you like changed all the colors on it yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And you're like, you can you can change all these colors. You can set this. It's like, how many channels do you want? You want to do all this stuff? And I was like, no, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to work with that. Yeah. It, it's a habit too. Like even like my yeah. grandparents, like my papa is the same way. Like, you know, working on his stuff, trying to fix like, his cable. And like I drive down through there and he's like, oh, your internet's been out for a week. Like, <laughs> I bet it has. Cable down here yeah. is awful. Look at it. Yes, yeah. trapping over that tree. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's, That's why it don't it's work. It's not good by any means. So I enjoy it though. I just don't think I could do like I don't think I could do any of that lineman. Uh, mainly because I'm fat. But you'd be, uh, you'd be surprised. There's some, I've seen the, some the, big old boys. Yeah, we, we, we've got some hefty boys out yeah. there that are like no problem. Well, because what is that? How does that interview process work? If you're just like, um. I don't think you're gonna be able to get up that pole, man. man I'll be honest point, with you. I don't think I can give you this well, job. Really, what happens? They go, "Oh, you can breathe." Sure, yeah, yeah. You can. What about you? Go, yeah, go. Because you gotta go. Like, you have to go do some lineman training, right? You have to do anything. I mean, be able. You have to. I mean, yeah. yeah. So we I, I, like, maybe I don't it, want to know that information. It's like actually like called yeah. gaffing, but it's when you put the spikes on your boots and right. You that's what you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have to be able to do that. Yeah, you have to research every so often. And I mean, I guess I assume every job's not that. No, no. I mean. Some more than others, like outer areas, but like yeah. Metro Lexington stuff like right, so, that. Is, yeah, because it's underground, yeah, whatever. Right? Right. No, it's all aerial. Oh, really? But it's all like backyards and things like that. But none of the poles are that tall, so right. you'll run into hooking poles when you get to like Berea, like down here in Hazard. We had to do a bunch of it down in like Hazard things. Well, like that. sure, because they're just out in the middle field. You're not gonna pack a ladder, you know, two hundred, <laughs> like the two hundred yards down a hillside and go. Yeah, yeah, now I gotta drag this kind of pole poles are ladder back up the hill. large here. Don't you feel like they are? Just, That's what you want, though. I know, I the, guess. The bigger ones, like the easier ones they are to climb. The bigger. Yeah. Bigger poles are easier to climb. <laughs> bigger poles are easier to climb. Mm-hmm. And it gets some sort of. I feel like there's some too many in windows there for me to go. I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't yeah, open those in your windows. Yeah, yeah, see. Well, one of my questions I ask you is why do you love poles so much? Oh. So. <laughs> You boy likes climbing if poles. If you ever fell down one, you would go, this, this kind of sucks. Oh, I can't imagine like just rubbing my hand down one, how that feels. Sliding yeah, all the way down one. your body weight kicks out. <laughs> so there's now, there's like safety harnesses that that doesn't happen. But it's still, like even that like two foot before the harness catches What's, you I mean, is a bad time. Uh, like no joke, it's a super dangerous job. Like, oh, I mean, yeah, people, yeah. people die all the time. Well, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've had my head like, Two inches away from a power line, and be like, Ugh. yeah. This Both feels- detectors isn't going off. I'm all right. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't have a metal plate in your head. And it well, they give us like a- the, there's there are foreign voltage detectors. Like so, if you get around some sort of voltage, oh, it it'll go off. Let and you tell know. you like, hey, get away from that. Hey, yo, don't die. Right. Yeah, and it starts beeping and like it beeps louder and more more like. I never thought stuff. about that being a thing. That makes sense. Yeah, we we have to check like make sure our lines don't have voltage because if like a power ground breaks. It will drop immediately down to our lines, and then we are the now the new ground for a power line. That shit's all interesting to me, I guess. Uh, just like I mean, like it's just crazy that I don't know. The whole thing's nuts about what you do and like just climbing the poles and setting the lines up and shit, and how close you are to death all the time. For I mean, like a lot of people are just underpaid, like in in that profession. All right, maybe not particularly where you work because you work for a good company, but around uh, here, yeah. The, the ones that work yeah. around here, I know how much they make for what they do, and right, and they're in like shit weather, and it goes yeah. down all the time so here. Back in 2019, I got headhunted, uh, recruited. Yeah, the recruiter reached out and was like, "Hey, you know, if you're interested in moving back, you know, we we'll offer you a spot." I don't know. I mean, well, like, what do y'all? Pay? How more well, you want to find out? Yeah, right? Like, how much offer? money y'all paying? Like, I'll move anywhere for yeah. the right amount of money. And so they were like, I now went through and they sent me the offer, and I just immediately deleted the email, and it was like a 65 percent pay cut. It was for to do the same job. Probably be a I boss. Would, probably yeah, like, yeah, and I was like, I'm, no, yeah. absolutely not. Especially because, like, I know you're busier there, like where you are. Yeah. But, like, the work probably sucks more here oh, because yeah, because it's like you're in the woods. Like you said, like, the worst ones are, like, you don't necessarily have road <laughs> access to it. Right. Like, yeah. you got to go through somebody's yard and through a hillside and up a mountain. Right. And it's yeah. like, Some of this stuff follows power. So you are just yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Like, I don't know where this is. 
But yeah. most of everything in Lexington, at least, is mapped right. out it's, well enough that you can point a finger and be like, oh, I know where that's at. Yeah, it's almost a different job, feels like. Yeah, yeah. And but it's an out of sight, out of mind thing, too, though. Sure. It's like down here, no one bothers you. Cause, and I guess that's the way it is with anything, right? Any job that has its, like, you know, has its dangers and stuff is like, you don't think about it. You just don't, like, no, you can't, yeah. you don't go through your day with, like, I might die today right, yeah. on the pole. Yeah, I mean, it's even like driving in here. Everybody's like, oh, it's a long drive to make, like. Yeah. I spent like 10, 12 hours behind the wheel of a truck all day. Like, that's really not. It's yeah, really without not going bad. anywhere. Right, yeah. Right, you don't go anywhere. Yeah. Let's, 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 like you you travel to see rain. us, you, yeah. you go somewhere. Right, yeah. 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 And like, even, um, you know, just like rainy days, you, know, you can't oh, yeah. really open things up. So if there was no current outage, you just kind of hung out and waited for something bad to happen. Yeah. So you just sit in a truck for four hours and just wait. <laughs> Man, it's funny because it's not a terrible gig. <laughs> I see people around here like... Man, I just see people in in those cable trucks just sitting on the side of the road, just like like for hours. Like, yeah. what are y'all doing? Just nothing. It's fine. Yeah. And they call them and they're like, we can't get anybody out today. And I'm like, well, seems like you can. Yeah. Is no, Richard's in his truck at the end of my street. No. Can he come fix it? Yeah. See, that's a, that was, goes back to earlier, like some of that stuff where they would say, you know, oh, yeah, it's been out for yeah. three days. Like, no. We got hours before someone is asking questions. Going, yeah. Why is this still off? Obligation. We didn't hear it. It, and you all have internet recently. You all had an outage too, didn't you? We did. Over at your house? Yeah. Oh, you were out for a couple of days? It's about 12 hours. Yeah. It was almost the whole day they were that, out. That like, would not fly with us, like, remotely. And it was everywhere. It was yeah. like fiber break, and it was like everywhere. Yeah, no. That's like, basically everyone shows up. Yeah. You're getting called in. You're, you're calling people on the days off. Like, you, people you, are showing up. Managers, you, like, directors are calling. Yeah. Your but, service is responsible for a lot more, a lot more businesses and right, everything. Yeah. Like yeah. Residents on top of it. like you, you got big people, big people yeah, calling yeah, you. Yeah, it's yeah, like they get, you get people you don't want to hear from. Right. Yeah. Why yeah, is I get like phone calls from people that I don't? Yeah. Why is this I not up yet? Yeah, I don't. Why be doesn't used. the hospital have? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's a lot of redundancies too, but like some of the stuff, like uh, a couple of weeks ago, Kentucky Avenue downtown, a car caught on fire. And melted a bunch of fiber lines. Oh. There's just nothing you can do about it. Like, <laughs> well, it's just a mess. Well, to, like, I guess the out. fire department has first at that, too, right? They got to clear everything out. Right, and then, yeah. And that's another thing you run into is like, why is this taking so long? We can't. Well, we're not. We're power, just sitting here waiting. Yeah. Power pole fell down and power yeah. on the line, right? Like on the ground. We have to wait on them before we're even allowed to get on site to see what exactly is broke. So it's not bad. It's yeah different, but yeah, it's I just still enjoy it. What's cool is like, what we've learned like through this, like getting people on that doing, you know, doing their job and shit. And we usually just have people on that like their job. People that usually come on either come on here for two reasons. People that like their job and people who hate their job and want to quit their job. Right. Or people who have quit their job and are doing something that they love to do, right. which is kind of our whole thing really is, you know, right. if you're going to quit your job, do something you want to do. Yeah. Right. Luckily you like your job. You enjoy what you do. Yeah. Now. Right. Yeah, especially yeah, I now you do. enjoyed the previous, like in the bucket truck. I don't do, Right, much bucket but what you're doing now, and you enjoy your company, right? Yeah, you like the company yeah, you work yeah, for a lot, and it's even like the seem to be I good to call it the corporate boot licking. But yeah, uh, it's fine. also I have zero complaints about where I work and how, yeah, it's like how solid. They no, are. I said that before. I don't have I I don't I don't want to work anywhere, but the company I work for, I like working for them. Right, but yeah. I don't want to work anywhere. Yeah, I don't want to wake up at eight in the morning and be like okay, I got to go to work. Like I can't. I don't wake <laughs> up at seven thirty and go. God, we should hurry up and get eight o'clock. Yeah, if I had the choice to work or not work. I would obviously not work. Yeah. Like, well, unfortunately, if that's not an option for yet, it's <laughs> not yeah, an option yeah. yet. We're almost there. Right. One of these days. I don't know if that's true. Do you ever set appointments and then just not show up because you're pissed at somebody? No, that's an awful lie. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> that's like the worst idea you could possibly do. So, no, we don't even like set the appointments. And you just tell people you're going to be there between noon and four the next yeah, day. So those are all run through like a dispatch group. And they basically every morning when you come into work, like this, your whole that day job is, sounds awful. Yeah. Your day is dispatch. basically mapped for you immediately. Right. That makes sense. So you have to deal with, I mean, the dispatch part is like, you have to deal with like the people that call in like, Hey, I want to, you know, cool. We'll be but there on Tuesday. You don't make it to some people just by default because like the first job you go to is going to be like, no. That's what you were talking about earlier about not leaving early. Yeah, yeah, it's like people that leave at five o'clock like get the yeah. like they got four jobs on the uh four jobs on the list list they're supposed to be doing and the first two take the entire day. Yeah, so they have like yeah. guys that they would I guess you call them like floaters. 
that's all their job fluffers. Is, is just uh, yeah yeah fluffers yeah <laughs> they just hang out in case there's like a hey I'm stuck here I'm not gonna make my ten o'clock go they will go grab it and that's those motherfuckers sitting in their trucks yeah the end really of the road. a lot of it is yeah <laughs> it's it's those guys that are just hanging out waiting around to there is a bug yeah flying around just driving me insane honestly oh, I thought you guys were making <laughs> signals to each other at first I was like what <laughs> this <laughs> been, and no, we have been no, trying no, to no, catch no, this no, one no. fly. And it's been flying around. I wish that would be the worst Mr. Miyagi's in the world. <laughs> we are. I wish that would have been on video because it's still here. Also, we really don't have any direction with this podcast. Do we really just, I mean, like it's pretty tough. Like we really just try to stay on topic about it. And then there's a fly and we lose all. Yeah. 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 We should. Yeah. yeah. Mainly it was just the past two episodes have been Ryan just yelling about umpires, which has been <laughs> kind of like he was been like, good. He's, yeah, he's, he, like he was like flipping table upset about it. Yeah, he's done. Uh, he's done really well screaming at umpires and then having an umpire on. I'll, honestly, I would love to tell you that we are creative enough that we planned that, <laughs> but we are not. I don't, I don't <laughs> we are not yeah, that creative. That. It just happened to work out really well. Yeah, that we yeah. had an umpire on. <laughs> yeah, afterwards. Yeah, because the episode before JP coming on here was. Ryan just like going on this tangent for yeah. ten minutes. He couldn't losing wait in his mind. Yeah, he it. couldn't wait to go off about about umpires and about that. I love it too. That's the best. I wish JP would have been the one that that he was arguing with, but but that was fun though. Just having that having that different perspective on that. That's why it's right. kind of cool to have you like have you hearing what we think. Like already, there's a bunch of shit that's like what I think is actually going on is not not really what's going on. No, no. I mean, people are like. Think it goes way more in depth than yeah. what actually. You would be amazed to learn what actually upholds an entire city's infrastructure. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just this. I it's just almost this. alarming. Like you could be like one, hey, correct like thing could happen. This dude whole, knows. Yeah, yeah. This I work dude, on the water side of it. Yeah, yeah. Know, so you man. get it. Like if you, when you look at you like. If, if you guys down, down, like if this if this one pole hit the ground and all this cable, if, you fell, got, like, if one person forgets, die. and you know, like that's the thing too is a lot of like our fiber. So Lakeston is like what you like what we call like a main hub. So it like yeah. branches out everywhere. So like Georgetown, Paris, Carlisle, Cynthia, all these other cities surrounding are fed from us. Oh yeah. So our fiber runs out to there. So it's like something happens on one of those giant fibers. Like that's that's it for just cities. Like they're all down. And that's. That's like, again, it's wild. Yeah, it's a lot of responsibility. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's wild. It's, Andy about. talks about like he's like there's one thing that somebody has to do every day, and if everybody at the department he works at just forgot about it, then everybody in this county would be fucked. Everybody in the city would be fucked. Yeah. Like, but there's like one or two things that have to be done every single day, and if yeah. they're not done, and it's like, and what happens if just everybody dies or something, or everybody right. forgets yeah. about it? Yeah, it's one of those things like you you don't realize how fragile it really is. I wouldn't say. Fragile. What's holding things like, yeah. together is yeah. much what less. What is than, actually there and what one good wrong thing at the back end of things could go wrong to go, oh, no. What you actually think is. Yeah, what, what you, you think you, is like, oh, it, you got, that'll never go out. Like, mm, wrong. Especially around here, man. Like, even before the flood, yeah. things weren't in the greatest condition. No. No, after no. the flood, it's like, there are a lot of things that you just don't even look at because you're afraid of what condition <laughs> yeah. they're in. And if you address yeah. it, then you're going to take responsibility for well, it. I mean, so it's like, he, why is that working? Uh, yeah. Everything seems I mean, to be going, okay now. We'll going just, back it's to still going, working. <laughs> even going back to like the flooding when all that happened. You know, we were down here working. Mm-hmm. And like the power supplies were just washed off the poles. Like, you know, they're mounted on the side of these big cabinets. And they were just gone. Like, well, I, can we turn it back on? Like, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> can we turn it back on? No, there's there's nothing for me to turn. Like, I, I can't do anything. There's nothing sure. here. <laughs> yeah. If you want to install a whole new one. Right. Yeah. And that was really like, can we bring you a generator? Like, I don't want you to hook it. <laughs> I'm sure if you want to, I guess. Like, I don't want to tell you. Positive goes on this line. Right. Negative goes on this one. And you'd be like, well, you know, you got this one back up. You know, there's like five houses in the middle of the street. You know, they're, they're still offline. Like. Yeah, yeah, they're gone. <laughs> There's Those nothing there. They're not there. There's four rusted cavaliers still stuck around, but yep. that's it. Where's the break in the where's the break in the line? It's yeah. that house right there that's gone. It's that's it's, where the break yeah. is. We the had house a, that moved forty feet. Yeah, that's it. We had a we had a fiber line down in uh Beulin was we Beulin. couldn't figure out it was broke and so we knew it was like Two miles this way, Crack five hits. miles this way, but we didn't know. Like if we were missing like three miles of fiber. I was oh. like, I don't know where it is. And so we finally drive out there, get out, walk around, and look for it. 
and you could see it like running down the pole, and then it was in the river. And that was, <laughs> you know, they were like, well, "Where does it go?" I was like, I don't, "There's thirty foot of water down there. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Fish it out. Yeah, bro. I can tell you where it isn't, and that's on down this next set of poles. Yeah, it's, so it's down there somewhere. It's not at their house. Yeah, that's yeah, where it's that not was, at. Uh, that was fun. I mean, we had a bunch of people come from you know way states over. I think we had some guys from like Oklahoma was out here running new cable. Oh yeah, like that, which was. Surprising. Those given, guys are getting paid know, big money to come out here and do yeah. that shit. Well, I mean, given you know, you don't you don't think about hazard being like hazard's kind of a big town here, but then you compare it to somewhere else, you know, oh, Lexington, yeah. places like yeah, that. Yeah, it's not it's nothing like the, you, know, you call someone and go, Hey, would you like to this obscure city in the middle of southeast Kentucky? Like, no. Nowhere. Yeah, there's they have a Walmart. No, I, that's yeah, all there is. Yeah. What do you what do you got to eat there? We got Applebee's. The floor is always moldy. So there's good luck. Combination Taco Bell KFC. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> there is yeah. a combo. Yeah. Oh, and then there's a place you can get really good cakes. You could sell that. That, that gas station where you can buy really good cakes. Monroe's. Man, he's dying. Where? In Hazard. It's like a gas station. What? I'm going to cut all this. <laughs> <laughs> there's no such thing as a gas station that sells good cakes. There is. It's a gas station. You don't even know the name of it, so obviously it's not that good. I don't know the name of anything. Mm, see? It's not Mike Johnson's. So. That's not there. Washed away. Mm, sign's still there. 40% is it? there. Yeah. Passed it away. I was like, oh, it's job. eternal though, right? Well, I cut the curve and was like, I almost like, oh, I could stop and get like two hot dogs. So the junction has a crunch box. <laughs> like mm. the junction has, yeah, the junction has food that's, that's all well, they just, call it like my, the Dom, the, no, 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 it's the called Dom the crunch special. box. It's called mm-hmm. the crunch box. I feel like somebody should sue over that. Well, the, I mean, the, not the junction gas station, the junction is a dairy bar at the end of Neon. <laughs> Did you not see it? No. What, you think I pay attention once out here? I do not Listen, think I've you been pay attention driving at all. Four times in the past ten years, three of those times we've been to come here. I was going to say it's so, just to here. Yeah, mm, yeah, I feel there's not a real reason for me to ever uh, cruise into uh, Neon. I feel loved. Yeah, but you wanted to. So, uh, in your job, what is the worst part of it? If you were working, mm. not your particular job. Just right. any part of it. Any part of your job. Man, it's the, the houses, really. Like, going into houses is fine. Like, coming into, like, here, it's not an issue. Like, but you go into, like, a nasty, like, what's so a that's always house? Be. Yeah. But, like, just a gross, like, I can tell y'all just don't clean. So, I've only done, like, me and, me and dad used to go places, and he did something for people, and I went with him and helped him. I don't even remember what it was. I don't, he might have been a drug dealer. I don't know what he did. <laughs> I don't know what he's Could've, doing. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but man, we went in his house one time. These people had a bunch of toilets in their yard, and that's just yeah. what they did was was decorate toilets. Like, mm. <laughs> yeah, there were flowers. Like, it was like, what a lot. But there, man, we in the house was there was so much cat shit. Yeah, in the house, yeah. just the floor was cat shit. Yeah, and I was like, what are people doing? Yeah, and what? people like y'all gonna get that. And they yeah. it's like, and what's crazy is that people don't see anything wrong with it. So of course, right. you know, you're outside, eighty percent of your day. So you know, you're fresh air all day, and then you like crack the seal <laughs> on something like that, and you're like, oh no, yeah, like my eyes are burning. This ammonia feels great. Yeah, it's rough. That's and that's that's what I figure too is like anything like you hear from like home health nurses, uh, like the yeah. shit they have to go through. Oh yeah, like to get imagine, yeah. people's houses in the middle of nowhere too, right? Yeah. Somebody calls you, their, their internet's out and they're literally on top of a mountain. Yeah, you just go in there and it's like cockroaches and in dust the, and like cat pee in there. Yeah. And like the worst one I'd ever dealt with was walking through a lady's house, you know, open the door and you could smell before I like knocked on the door, you could just get the whiff of like cat pee. I said, oh no, this is, this is going to be a bad time. She opens yeah. the door up and it's, you know, just basically like a box fan blowing in your face with it. And when I step on the carpet, like, you know, you wear a lineman boot. So like I step and it crunches and then my boot imprint stays. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, oh no, we don't, we don't <laughs> yeah. want this. Like an Indiana Jones. What is the floor? Right. Yeah. It's, and you, it's just bugs. Yeah. And a lot of that too. Like uh, there was a couple of times I actually didn't call on CPS on people. Oh, having yeah. kids and like sure you got some sort of responsibility yeah, right. when you're just like yeah. oh you pull a power strip out and it's just like covered in cockroach eggs and sure I'll swap like, out your modem but yeah. I'm, I'm probably going to call CPS yeah yeah. And I mean of like, course now at this day and age they can't do anything anyways it doesn't matter so yeah yeah but it was it was wild I mean it's, the houses are really the number one thing and it was always the ones that you wouldn't suspect either sure super nice outside looks nice on the outside you know, lawn kept you know looks great go inside and there's like food laying in the floor it was like uh, whatever People are gross. Yeah, it's 
that was that was probably the wildest part of the job. Hey, unpaid lunch listeners, taking a quick break just to tell you how much we appreciate you. We love making content for you and would love for you to keep listening. Leave us a comment or follow, send us an email or slide in our DMs. We're always excited to hear from fans and it really makes any of our days, I swear. Check out the links in the description if you get a chance and just keep on being the amazing hustlers that you are. Thank you guys. Now back to the show. Welcome back in Unpaid Lunch listeners. We're back here in studio with uh, Trav, a resident cable guy. Um, <clears throat> having a good time with him. Talked about the visiting people's houses and exactly how shitty we figured it was. Uh, but we got a new mailbag reading. We ain't had one of those in a while. Everybody's excited about that. Hey. Yeah. Applause. Good time. Right, right I'll be happy with yeah. it. Yeah, that I used the applause. He'd be proud of me. That's good. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to do the mailbag reading. Okay, mailbag reading from Joe. So, hey, what's up, hustlers? Recently, my employer was bought out by a big corporate company, and today I got fired or slash quit. I got fired slash quit because I told my new corporate appointed general manager to eat shit through a straw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it already. I feel like it's a bad idea. <laughs> He tried to get me to pick him up for a ride along for my last call when I was already behind and working late on my shift. I guess it's like, I mean, fucking whatever. Right, yeah. Uh, He wanted to ride along just to see how I work my calls. Ever since the takeover for this new company has been micromanaging us to death and taking all the fun out of working. So I've been on my way out the door for a while, but today I just couldn't take it anymore. It was such a relief driving away from a place I used to love to work for that slowly turned into a place that made me feel bitter and no more than a number. I feel so free. Also, managers don't appreciate being told to eat shit through a straw. Yeah. So that's a pretty good quitting story. That's what we were looking for. I don't know anybody that would appreciate that, though. I don't know. In the right context, I might be like, you know, like I appreciate. That guy's got some balls on him. I can't be like, oh, he's appreciate joking around. <laughs> old Joe, you know old Joe. <laughs> yeah. He's fucking around. Yeah, man. I can't imagine how that would work out well. So I think the problem with <laughs> quitting a job like that is then you're like, call for a reference and it's like, would you hire him back? No. And that's all they can legally say anymore, right, is yes right, or no yeah. on referrals. Yeah. But I feel like at some point they're going to be like, no, he said he shit through a straw. Right. Yeah. And that's the problem is because now he's going to have, you know, given <laughs> even two or three years, like you're going to have a huge gap in your resume of just, what'd you do? Nothing. Yeah. N- nothing. I don't want to do talk anything about for it. a while because I told my manager to eat shit through a straw, yeah, yeah. which I'd, I'd like to point out, I'm, I'm all for anybody quitting in the extreme modes they possibly can. I think it did the exact thing that I would have done. Yeah. You know, it's great. Also, uh, I think that's the jobs. quickest way to fucking get rid of micromanaging yeah. shit is like it's the worst. It's yeah. the worst. And it's my company's pretty good about not really they're like let you do your thing if you do your thing. Right. Said it was a yeah. corporate buyout too, right? So yeah. Like, especially if he's worked there for any amount of time and used to any kind of routine and everything. And yeah. Gonna hop in and try to change shit. Could be what sucks is um I know from experience, like personally, the managers of those jobs hate their job too. Yeah, no. but what I don't like, even with those, <laughs> we uh, with like a job like that, though, getting balled out and being micromanaged makes sense. Yeah, in a, I wouldn't say a manager standpoint, but a, I have to manage people all day, so like that's like a, I need to see how you're doing your job. Yeah, and I know so a lot of that stuff gets relaxed. Like I, I don't get micromanaged at all. So my old one, I kind of got micromanaged because it was always, you know, hey, when are you done with this? When are you going to be done? Like, that was the number yeah. one question every day: is how fast can you get this done to move on? To and I guess what one. you find out about that is then the managers are also getting that shit too. Right? They're yeah, like, yeah. how quick is yeah. this person going to do just this? Just a whole chain of why is it this done? Two hours. And the demand is coming from somebody who don't know their fucking name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Has no idea, like, oh, I'm just going to send this guy. If you're looking for a surefire way to lose good employees, that's it. Yeah, well, that's That's exactly the way to treat them. Yeah. Which also runs into the problem of, like, micromanaging, trying to figure out people what they're doing. Because then you run into, I can't point fingers at one person that's not doing their job, so I have to go through and micromanage everyone to ship this one dude out the door. You know, What's your field like? Do you get micromanaged in your field? Sometimes. It's a, 
They like to go back and review charts, see what you're doing. Oh, yeah, making sure you're doing the shit. Yeah. Which is like, just do your job, right? And it's not like... Yeah. And it's fucking... I, I guess it's... I mean, there's always somebody who's not going to fucking do their job. But right. if it's your yeah. boss and you're picking up the slack for them, and... I mean, the way I see it now, they could micromanage me if they want. They pay me well enough that I'm not going uh, yeah. to. Like, well, so, I'll do whatever you want. Well, yeah, everything's got a number, right? right. Yeah, I've got in a solid routine now to where, like, I have this, like, laid out plan every day. Treat me what I need to do. Like, I really don't, like, nothing will change it. So it doesn't matter. If you pay me a certain amount, you can do whatever you want. Right. Yeah. That's, that's honestly <laughs> a, a, a thing I say a lot. It's like, this needs to be done now. Like, does this need to be done, like, large amount of money I can throw at this done now or yeah in the next day or two done now They're like well you know next day or two like okay cool that sounds great that, that changes the price tag of things a that lot is much better yeah. yeah yeah I don't know I've not been in a situation where I wanted to tell boss to eat shit through a straw I guess one yeah I really wanted to like throw my vest in my boss's face and quit that would have been nice I haven't had a job like well, I mean, I was since say I left that, here. Anyways. That you've done quit like that. Right, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't quit that way. That's just a, even, if, I, I don't care if I really hate someone enough. Like, I don't. We mean, have a mutual quitting story. Right, yeah. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> We have a mutual no more money close yeah, to yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quitting you're, story. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Yeah. But also, Uno got called. So. Hey, fuck you. So. All right. Well, I'm not even talking still, about that. That's still, a story. That's I still my favorite story. I don't even I'm not, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know that's what you're really, talking about. That's one of my favorite memories. Like, that's a core memory in my mind. Bro, that job was going to be the worst. Mm -hmm. And we bailed. I've never bailed harder on a job. We went to a job for a day. You stayed a little bit longer, didn't you? Two days. Two days, Yeah. yeah. I stayed yeah, for I a day. I went back another day to like, maybe it won't be that bad. Though. <laughs> he <laughs> went back another day. Yeah. Glutton yeah. for punishment. Oh, he was <laughs> Well, because the money is good. Yeah. Right? That was the, the money was thing. awesome. And when you say money is good, it's like, it was like it was not bucks an hour. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Wait. At the time, it was good. I can't wait to buy a new car. <laughs> 12 years ago, it yeah, was awesome. Right, yeah, 12 years ago when, you know, pre-pandemic thing didn't end and. You, you money mattered, right? Yeah, money actually mattered, and it wasn't a big deal. Inflation wasn't real. I feel like if I have five dollars, I don't have any money now. Yeah, yeah, that's what it feels like. Yeah. Like I go to Costco yeah. and spend four hundred bucks, like on just random stuff, and then like, man, like I go to get bacon at the grocery store and I spend one hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, and I was like, man, I don't like I don't I don't feel like my money stretches as far as it coin used to. change isn't real anymore. Like that's I don't not, even that's want it. Thing. Don't it's even give not, it back to me. Oh yeah, just, I, haven't, just, I don't. I haven't carried cash. In a long time. Well, a store that we that I went to today, their debit card machines were down, so they only take cash. So, like, I ended up with some change. And yeah, I don't even think like, like I had money out for ball games. Like, right. yeah, I'd be in know. trouble if that. Like, oh, we don't take debit cards. Like, yeah, I don't know you. Like, well, I can't normally, pay you then. Normally, I would if I wouldn't have just had cash on me anyway because I had had, had some out anyway because we were going to ball games and right. stuff. So, uh, but they gave me change back, and I was like, seriously, I don't want it. And then we went to another store. And I literally gave him for like eight cents. I gave him a quarter. I was like, "Just take you this can quarter." Keep it. Yeah, you can. I have do it. not yeah. want it. It's yeah. gonna get. It's gonna end up my floor somewhere. Yeah. I'll never know where it's at. I owed him six cents for something. He was gonna <laughs> just let me out the door, and I gave him whatever pocket yeah. change was in my. Just please, <laughs> sir, take the this twelve cents. Yeah. Was tw having twelve cents is the same as not having anything. Yeah, you know, yeah. I like mean, five dollars yeah, is not yeah. having anything. Like I don't. I don't like even blink when like my grocery bill is two hundred bucks. You know how much, so like, oh, yeah. you know much a uh, twelve packet of Dr Pepper is? Like eight dollars. That's crazy. A, it's, a king size candy bar is more expensive than a box of little Debbie cakes. And that's where that turns into like the nobody wants to work, and they and we all know like there's a lumber company around here. Oh my god, dude! And I, you, you know preaching. those guys just work their guts out, and that's the hardest work, yeah, bro. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. how you hard that like work bottom is. Bottom of the totem pole, throwing like basically half logs on hillsides. All and day. it's a good friend of mine who yeah, runs yeah. it. Like it's and a good I, friend. And of I mine. look at it and it's like, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, work's kind of rough. It's like you're outside. You know, you know yeah. you're in a shelter. Like, okay, cool. I'm in a carport, basically. It's a carport. Yeah, you, yeah. your sides are open. There's a roof at least. Yeah, but it's like twelve bucks an hour. Like, man, what? Twelve dollars an hour? Like, and destroy destroy your manual. Body. Yeah, just sixty hours a week. Yeah, wreck like, your body. I know that's for overtime, bucks an hour. but like sixty hours a week and a lumber mill, you're gonna die. Yeah, you can work yourself to death. Yeah, I can't believe we can't keep these positions. Twelve like, dollars an hour, dude. Yeah, pay someone thirty bucks an hour, and I bet you some can, like crackhead goes in there, dude, and they just bust it out every day. No you problem. can get fucking jobs where you don't do anything and you just sit at home for twelve dollars an hour. Yeah, like, we we run into that in Lexington a lot too. It's like one of uh, one of my contractors. Uh, we're 
having trouble finding people. And I said, you guys are trying to pay enough. They're like, well, I mean, we're offering like 15 bucks. I said, man, that's not Amazon enough. delivering packages are at $25 an hour. Yeah. I'm, we're not like, you're not going to find anyone that's going to climb a telephone pole at 3 a.m. For 15, that's just not, that's it's not going to be not worth the, no, the quality of life for you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's no way. So, you know, I just don't eat shit through a straw. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's one way to solve it. You know, it's an easy exit. Yeah. I mean, and I guess that comes with it is just like, it is a lot harder to quit your job now than it right. used to be because yeah. money doesn't go as far as it did. Well, I mean, a lot of those too, I'm sure like the, even like COVID kind of killed a lot of those businesses out that were paying halfway decent. Right. And you know, like with the cable business, like we, it was more important for us more than anything. Like they were asking us to work more because, you know, all of a sudden you got entire school systems and people that were working in offices now are working from home and, you know, kids are learning online. Like the internet is more important now than it's ever been. Well, I know like call centers are having trouble getting people back on site yeah. because after COVID because yeah. everybody got used to working from home and now they, everybody wants everybody back on site. Yeah. And it's just like, what do you think? would get people back on site without a fight. And I said, pay more money. Yeah. Like you have to pay more. If people can get a job that's very similar, like, and all cost center jobs are, they're all cookie cutter. Like yeah. everything's yeah. like, right. especially yeah. the remote ones. Like yeah. it's, it's just a- whatever you're doing, if you're doing billing and shipping or if you're doing technical support or if you're doing something for somebody, it's all the same shit. It's all cookie cutter. Read right. from one screen, tell them, you know, right. tell them what it's saying. Yeah. That's all it is. And it's like, you could get a job anywhere you wanted remotely. There's thousands of remote jobs that pay 17, 18, 19 dollars an hour right. yeah. to just sit at your computer and do. And a lot of them are not even like, a lot of them are not even phone calls. Yeah, it's just like, data entry. Yeah. It's take, a lot take of it, this from this file and put it in and this file. And you don't have to be smart to, to do yeah, it. No. It's They just need somebody to do it. Yeah. And you don't have to be smart to do it. And there's a ton of those jobs. So it's yeah. like, you get people that are paying 14, like, Twelve dollars. Why would you work at that lumber place? Right. Why would yeah. you work there? Yeah. Why would I do that when I can stay home? Well, Walmart pays better than that. Yeah, and it's way less work. Yeah, instead of throwing lumber I know in it's general, not, just I don't even care if it's two by fours. No, honestly, it's like 60. eventually it's going to wear you out. And they're like, yeah, my checks are good. Yeah, because you fucking work sixty five hours a week. Proof, <laughs> right? Yeah, the checks looks great. I worked one hundred eighty hours. Yeah, your check at Walmart. Like, oh yeah, but they do look. Good. Your check at Walmart would look good if you worked one hundred eighty yeah. hours in two weeks. Yeah. Talk to me in six months when you're walking around like a question mark. Yeah, <laughs> that was absolutely. A, that was a big driving factor in me actually getting out of a bucket truck was seeing some of the old dudes and like, you know, they're, that love the bucket truck yeah, work with their they're, they're outside born and bred. You know, this is all I'm going to, you know, this is how I'm going to retire in their late fifties. The man, they're so beat to death. At like, well, hopefully we're going to have my dad on. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Which will be a hoot. Yeah. But you know, we're going to, Try to get him focused on coal mining, you know, and his life in right. life yeah. in the coal mine industry because like nobody old works in the coal mines. No. And if they do, they walk bent over. Right, yeah. You They're know what I mean? They walk wrecked. Well, they walk the, completely crippled. Yeah. Like no retire, quality. I wanna be one of those people that drives a Corvette around and like, you know, the high rise jean shorts and new yeah. bounces on like <laughs> a parking lot hanging out. Like you know, moving around, not just the, I can't get up, you know, I, yeah, I, you I can't t- walk around this morning having a bad yeah, day. Yeah, I I feel like if your job is going to require you at some point to be in a motorized wheelchair at Walmart. Yeah. Like in a Rover at Walmart, you should quit that job. Yeah. Like yeah, if it's going to make you that way yeah. at yeah. any point in your life, because yeah. it's not worth it. Right. Like who what? gives a shit? Like, yeah, I had a bunch, I had my money. I had money my whole life and everybody was comfortable, but like, like you're dead. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? That was really like a big selling factor yeah. to me. It was like, I'm young enough still that I can get out. And I've already had, Couple of shoulder issues, um, smashed a bunch of fingers, you know, messed yeah. myself up pretty good. Like threw my back out three or four times. And it was like, if I don't stop, it's going to be like a good one where I'm out. Yeah. Like months yeah. You screwed time. up. Like yeah. Down, down, down. Or you might just get juiced and die. Right. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. Good. that could happen. Be my problem. Again, right. We, you know, it's yeah. not yeah. your yeah. issue. Yeah. If you're dead, issue. you don't care yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah. It's not my problem. Yeah. So, like, okay. yeah. you get juiced and like yeah. lose an arm. Yeah. But they, the safety thing of it too is also with any other job. If you're paying attention, you're not going to really get hurt. Like, yeah. Working in a warehouse happen, is just there's as nothing dangerous. You, can do. Right. you know, you're up in the air and a car smashes in the back end. You, you can't prepare for that. I don't care how many cones yeah. you have or how many lights. It doesn't matter. People get killed at warehouses all the time. Boxes falling on them. Right. Right. Yeah. But well, I mean. How many people you, die in Amazon warehouses a year, you think? 
Oh, I bet it's. A, I bet it's a higher number than you think it yeah, is. Yeah, I bet it's three hundred. Yeah, I bet yeah. it's a pretty high yeah, but number. It's, yeah, like, I bet it's like like three hundred. I bet it's like a pretty but high do number. Do you think they even call it a, a like workplace death? Nope, it like a I do not. I think it's probably like thing. Disney. I think they probably take yeah. them outside they first. Drag right? you outside yeah. on the side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, get him to the hospital. Don't declare him dead here. Get him there. Yeah, we can't have it on Amazon that they died. We already don't let them go piss. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. I feel so bad for someone like especially like today, ninety degrees and it's just miserably hot. Yeah, I um, went for an interview one time for a UPS, like a UPS, like where you fucking just load the trucks Mm -hmm. all day long. Fuck that. That job sucks. That job's awful. You're just throwing packages like, oh, this thing is about uh, like a box of pillows and the next one is three grills. And you're like, cool, it was two pounds and 350 pounds. And you got like, like, you have to like read the label and make sure it's good and shit as it's coming by and still load it on the truck and load it correctly on the truck in in the order that it's coming back off the truck. Yes. And you have to do like all this in like a... Like a certain time frame, and they're not going to pay you much for it. And plus, you don't get forty hours. Isn't robots the, will be doing it in five years? Right. Yeah. yeah. Isn't UPS even the ones that are like they only make right turns? And it's like they have a whole route planned, and like they have their own areas, and probably they only, like they can. They, I like, believe that's it. the issue. Like if they pass your house, they don't deliver your package. They come back the next UPS, day. UPS does this thing they love to do where they mark your package delivered early in the day because they have quotas they have to meet, like yeah. like McDonald's. Yeah. So they'll mark your package delivered. And it's literally what I do for a living all day long. I'm like, hey, they're going to bring it later. No, I don't think they will. And I'm like, they're, they're going to bring it later. They do it all the time. <laughs> well, I promise. That's where, like, even, like, the ring doorbell cameras come in handy, though. Oh, yeah. It's like, they, your package delivered, like, no one. What if a cop asks you for footage from your ring doorbell okay. camera? No, nah, man, I'm good. That's passed for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no that's, that's my favorite. We had the conversation earlier. Yeah. Like, if a cop, like, asked for your ring doorbell footage, huh? Yeah. No, sir. No. Uh-huh. No, I don't you come so. back with a subpoena for that. Yeah, that's a pass for me. Might I, not I, record. I, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I don't. I don't mess with that. That's uh That's where we run into a lot of that stuff. Even with delivery drivers, man. I can't imagine the the people. I'm sure that run them down. Oh yeah. They, you know, in like my neighborhood, like there's a guy that seems like he only delivers the right side of the road, and then there's another dude that comes through later in the day. And delivers the other side of the road. On the other side of the road. And fucking people. And I'm assuming that's impatient like people. Mix. That's what I talked to one of them. He was like, yeah, it's right turns only. So, like, to get in my neighborhood, there's two entrances. So, I was like, oh. That, that makes sense, sense not making left turns. Because, like, in the city, left turns, like. Oh, yeah, it's bad. It's a bad yeah. idea. Because, I mean, there's traffic all the time. So, you're trying to cross. A but you're trying to make Nicholasville and you, no, you got to make left turns. Yeah, I just wouldn't do it. <laughs> you just can't do it. I, not only you go back to that thing, too, of, like, being in a bucket truck that was, you know, an F-550. This is a giant oh, truck. Oh, huge. And people just pull out in front of you. Like, man, I can't stop. Run over. Like, there's nothing I can do if you swerve over at me. Like, there's nothing I can do for you. Um, King Jasper has made an appearance on the table. If you've not, if you've not seen King Jasper, um, it's our huge white cat. He's on um the unsuccessful podcast I do with Coleman. You can check that out. It's in the links and shit. But you can see that, and he's on some of the videos. But he hangs out on the table almost every episode. He's here. Um, him and Monroe are staples. Uh, they're here almost every episode <laughs> and uh, Key who was on a couple weeks ago is here almost every episode too that makes and sense. sometimes she forgets she is every now and then every now and then she every now and then it just now now slips the mind a bit <laughs> <laughs> y'all seen this cat <laughs> <laughs> Trav man uh, loved having you dude yeah yeah thanks for it's, having me it's been a good time uh we we had a extra long pre show. Trav got here early and we hung out a while. And, yeah, I've been here a uh, hot minute. I think a long this, time. Yeah, yeah, way longer than I. Longer than you. I anticipated in Ledger County. actually being back in my driveway by now. Well, you didn't want to be in Ledger County this long. No, absolutely not. I don't venture here unless it's like I kept you indoors. to visit my mom or my papa. Like maybe sometimes I come in to get like a tattoo by Russ you when get, he's free. But other than that, man, I just yeah, we have the same circle. Yeah, we. I it's, so it's, it's all a, social media is a thing. Everybody's busy now. I mean, it's just the way it is. I mean, yeah, you I mean fucking, I'm just busy. Like that's what. That's why I appreciate. Yeah, I appreciate you so much coming in. Like I said, like it's life's hard. Like getting right, getting yeah. together and shit. That's why we're you know working on well, I mean, calling people through it. And you also think about how long it took me to plan. What we talked about this at the end of so April, beginning. Of, you'd be surprised. Like, most of our yeah. bookings are like that. Most right, people yeah. that we're scheduling, we schedule like because people just have to schedule right, like yeah. a month ahead of time. Yeah. So I mean, you're like, well, what about this weekend? Like, mm, I'll be in Tennessee. Yeah. Like you're out of luck. And I was like, nah, I got buddies having a shop party. Well, like, the there's process. so much stuff going on. And I know that feels like I'm like pushing that on you. Like, hey, come this weekend. But it's like that's just the process. Is like, what yeah, are you doing yeah, this yeah. weekend? What are we doing? Yeah. Like, 
no, we can't do that. We're recording this night, this weekend. Right, yeah, but I'm used to it because it's like a yeah. We plan so much stuff that it's always like a. What do we yeah. got going on on you know the sixth weekend? Well, I don't know. Okay, cool. Well, let's do. You're this. just mad at UPS drivers because you don't get your bike parts in time. Mm. Because they don't make right no, turns. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that noise, that, yeah. That noise you made was... So, just, uh, FedEx is the, the oh, worst yeah, They're the worst. For me. So I ordered uh, my They throw out your shit, too. Yeah, well, the, the bike I just finished building, not like... It got finished in April. Um, so ordered a whole new front end, which is a Springer front end. It's like the, you know what the front wheel attaches to, handlebars, everything. It's a yeah. pretty vital piece to have around. And it sits in... What is up in Northern Kentucky? Fort something in Northern Kentucky. There's a big hub there for FedEx. It's supposed to be delivered in like three days. It paid an extra bunch of money to get it like nope. three days. Because like the back was like 80% done. Like it, the gas tank was off. And then the front end. And it just sat That was it. And then it sat there for two and a half weeks. And I'd check every day. And I finally called, like found the distrib- like distribution number through FedEx and just arguing with enough people. And was like, let me call them. And I called the guy. I was like, I'll come get it. It's an hour away. Like, just get it. And he was like, it's in the middle of a trailer somewhere. Like, we don't know what to tell you. Yeah. So they, that's they not acceptable. That. They won't what let you do, you do that shit. Yeah. It's like, I'll drive and get it. I don't even want you to deliver it. Just let me have it. Nope. Can't do that. Maybe that guy worked for a company that got bought out by FedEx. Oh, man, I don't know. Because I could see, I could yeah, see yeah, telling yeah, a FedEx yeah. boss to go eat yeah, shit through a straw. Sure. Yeah. Could do that. And now, and I think they've like blacklisted me now. <laughs> <laughs> you can because get FedEx at this packages. point, man, when like FedEx does show up, I think they're like they deliver them to the yeah they like the drive by, office. slow down to five, and just toss it out the window. Flip you and off. Let, yeah, just let it hit the ground and keep rolling on. <clears throat> so yeah, that's it's yeah, well, that's true. Man, I appreciate you coming on. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. Uh, you all check out check out the links down below. Check out everything. Um, check us out on Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, anywhere podcasts are. And then check out our Instagram and Patreon as well. Um, got some pretty cool exclusive content that comes up on Patreon every now and then. Uh, but most of the time we're just posting our shit to Instagram, so follow us on there. We don't have anything on Facebook because, again, Facebook's just for old people and pictures of pets, which I'm into, pictures it's, of pets, so that's fine. You like, if you look at my Facebook Messenger, like there's like yeah. six people that I talk to on there, and you're like the fourth one down. Yeah, it's and just... And that's it. Like I don't talk to anyone else. No, I know that. that. Yeah. Like, it's It's just... I feel it's, privileged. It's a dying breed, though. I mean, I feel privileged. Yeah. You guys got anything else? Nope. All right, guys. Remember, ain't nobody stopping you from quitting your job, but you. <laughs>